now for this session we'll see amplitude shifting amplitude shifting modulation technique is used to represent the amplitude signal or the analog signal to represent the digital data or the discrete data so we will use this communication kit that is ask kit for uh, see to see the experiment we will turn on this power supply we have to give the power supply to the kit here there is a signal generator where the analog signal is generated here you can change the frequency of the signal and this is the carrier signal which is used to represent our digital data that we can input it to the modulator modulator uh, signal uh, circuit then this is a data data switch wherein we can uh, input the data or uh, keep the data as as per our requirement so here we have kept 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 when there is a switch up it is 1 when it is set down it is 0 so here we get the data output which we have to give to the modulators input now the modulator circuit it is going to uh, represent the inputted data into the form of the carrier signal that is in the form of analog signal now here you can see uh, here we have connected the channel 2 for the inputting the data here you can see whatever data you have inputted for this channel and that is uh, three ones three ones two zero and remaining ones and after that we will see the carrier signal what is the amplitude of it it is a high amplitude now here we will see the modulated output so here you can just see that whenever there is a data one it is represented with a very high amplitude that is maximum amplitude which is given as a carrier signal and whenever it is a zero data it will be represented with a zero amplitude that is uh, zero and high amplitude or peak amplitude or zero amplitude and after that you can give this modulated output to the demodulator circuit which will uh, reverse into the form of the original data it will convert the uh, the modulated data into the original digital data what we have said so here you can just see that is whatever data is inputted by the a transmitter it is received through the modulator and demodulator circuit and this as 1110011 now if you want to change the data you can just change the data as uh, 11001011 again 00 and just press the reset button so that data will be represented here you can see the data input and the data output at the same time you can just remove this knob for the connection and you can just check once again the modulated output so wherever we have inputted one as a input you will get high amplitude wherever we have given zero as a input there you will get zero hope it is clear thank you